Hi, I'm Cindy McGee. Today I'm using items from the Egyptian-themed Create Along box to make this set of Egyptian cartouche jewelry. My first step was to use some DecoArt Americana multi-surface satin paint, and this is metallic gold, and I'm going to paint these little wooden cartouche embellishments that came in my Egyptian-themed create-along box. I painted both sides and the outer edges. Those were drying, I rolled out some gold Sculpey Primo, this is the metallic gold, and I rolled it to maybe an eighth of an inch thick, and I'm using the pyramid texture mat that came in the Egyptian box to transfer the texture to that sheet of clay. I'm going to use the two smaller wooden cartouches to make earrings, so I placed those on top of that sheet of textured clay, decided where I wanted the image to show which way and then pushed them down into it and, and used my roller to push down into it a little bit. You can use a tool. I just want to make sure that those wooden cartouches are really embedded in that clay. Then I went ahead and removed the excess clay from around the cartouches. I lifted off the wooden pieces, the cartouches themselves, and I'm going to use the gold metallic mineral powder, this is miracle metal powder, to highlight the texture on the top. And I'm just going to use my fingertip to do this. I added a little touch of bacon bond around the flat edges of the cartouches where the wooden piece will be and then place those wooden cartouches back on. Carefully use the blade to lift them up and then I use the blade to trim away any excess on the back that was overlapping the wooden edge of the cartouche. The pendant and the larger wooden cartouche, I'm using some cobalt clay and I rolled it again a little bit more than about an eighth of an inch and I'm going to silk screen it with the screen that came in the Egyptian box. I just chose a couple of images that would fit well within that wooden cartouche frame and place the silk screen with the colored side down against the clay. I like to give it a little roll just to make sure it's going to stay in place while I add my color. And this time I'm going to screen with that same gold powder that came in the box and just use my fingertip to rub it into the screen. Carefully lift and remove the screen, and you can wash that to remove the powder. To set that powder in place in the clay and avoid any rubbing off and, and things like that, I place a piece of plastic over it and then just gently press it and give it a little rub and carefully lift off that plastic. And you can see the difference after you've done that. It's the larger cartouche and did the same thing, pushed it into that clay to embed it, and then added, removed the wooden piece, added a little bacon bond, and replaced it, and then lifted it off the back and trimmed it. I wanted some dangling elements for my different pieces and I started with the rest of that blue clay that I had rolled out and I'm using this little onk texture stick that came in the box. There's a whole set of these awesome Egyptian texture sticks. And then I just used a small oval cutter to cut around them. 
I put the plastic wrap down before I cut so that I'd have a, a rounded beveled edge. And I used that same gold powder and rubbed it over the surface and the back. To make the dangle for the pendant, I rolled more of the gold clay out and I'm using the Eye of Ra texture tip to make my impression. Then I baked all of these elements according to the manufacturer's instructions and let them cool. After everything was cooled, I used a small drill to make a hole in the bottom of the cartouches and in the tops of the dangle beads. I did use some red faux stone that I had made for another project to make some connecting beads, and I used gold findings to attach all of the pieces together. I hope you enjoyed this project made with items from the Egyptian-themed Create-Along box. Please continue to share your projects made with our Create-Along boxes on our Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook group.